The sole purpose of having a gun is not for protection. The sole purpose of having a gun is to kill. Facts. That's what guns were built for and designed for. War. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on people, it's your boy Cam, Topical Juice and I'm back with a, a real historical one. This is going to be real educational, so I need you lot to strap your seatbelts in because we need to talk about this very, very alarming issue, problem that is happening in America. In fact, not happening in America, hasn't stopped happening in America. From the moment pretty much America was founded, the shit ain't stopped. So in this video here, yeah, we're going to be looking at America's problem with guns. Okay, America has a major problem with guns and what sparked this video was once again, another mass shooting happened in America yesterday. So I haven't even had time to make the video of the race related mass shooting where the, the guy shot eight Asian people, killed eight Asian people in massage parlors or whatever it was. I didn't even have time to do a video on that before the next mass shootings happened. <laughs> so now 10 people are dead in Colorado yesterday. This video isn't about that. I might do a video on that at some point, but I'd rather t talk about this holistically from a wider type of lens, do you understand? From a big, proper academic, or from a high IQ point of view, you feel me? So listen, without further ado, let's get into this video. Like the video for me, hit the bell to be notified for me, smash the f subscribe button for me, <laughs> and uh, and the rest, man, yeah, I appreciate you sticking by this video, watching it all the way through to the end. I appreciate you joining the community and thank you. So let's get into this. Now, shootings and mass shootings in America is as common as pop into the shop. Like, people die so often due to people walking into shopping centres, schools, places of work and unloading, emptying clips. Some of them have been teenagers. Some of them have been adults. This happens all the time, right? I've been looking at, I've been hearing of mass shootings since... Eminem's lyric in 2000, in the year 2000, Eminem dropped a lyric about Columbine. Now, Columbine was a school shooting that happened in 1999. Between 1966 and 2012, apparently one third of global mass shootings happened in the United States. One third of the entire globe's shootings, mass shootings, happened in America. According to the Washington Post, 163 mass shootings occurred between the years 2012 Sorry, sorry, 1967 and 2019. And I was telling my mum about it and she was asking me about when the first mass shooting was. So I whipped up Google, as you do. I've gone straight onto Wikipedia and I've seen that the first mass shooting in America was 1920 in Hawaii, I believe it was. Or was it Chicago? Oh no, Florida. So Florida, the first mass shooting in 20th century, November the 2nd, 1920. 34 to 37 people died. They don't even know. They don't even know back then. Next one, 1921. Next one, 22. Next one, 24. Next one, 29. Next one, 33, 34, 45, 46, 49, 54, 65, 66. All the way up until Columbine in 1999. Mass shootings are frequent. So now we've established that mass shootings happen every flipping day or whatever in America and have been happening for over 100 years. Why has nothing changed? Surely in my mind, yeah, one mass shooting is enough. One, that should be enough to say, you know what? We should look at our laws. Let me, I'll give you a history lesson. We had a mass shooting in Britain in, nine, in the 90s. I need to, do, hold on, I forgot what it was called. Let me, in fact, what was it called? Oh yeah, Dunblane, that's what it was called, Dunblane. Look, let me read this real quick. In 1996, a gunman opened fire in a primary school in Dunblane, Scotland, killing 16 pupils and a teacher. The shooting led to a change in the law in Scotland, England and Wales, which effectively outlawed all private ownerships of guns. Right? That was in 1996. Simple. One mass shooting. You know what? We should probably change the law on guns. 400 mass shootings later in America and nothing's changed. Now, why is that? There's two main reasons why nothing's changed, right? The, mo the first reason is, Amer honestly, Americans. No offense, to, I've, got, I've, I've, got, I've got some American audiences. No offense, I don't mean to offend you lot if you do watch me and that, but you lot, your country's so dumb. Because your country's too new, you were only founded, what, 300 years ago, you're such a baby country, you're, you're, still, you're still teething, I feel. I feel like maybe you're in, the, you're in your toddler stage. The first reason why outlawing guns is near enough impossible, yeah, in America, 
is for this fucking ridiculous amendment, right? It's called the Second Amendment, which is their right to bear arms. This is the most ridiculous, outdated law in history. Yeah, at the time when it was when it was created, it was necessary. The right to bear arms. We're talking about two, three hundred years ago or whatever, when they're fresh out of a war with Britain <laughs> or fresh from a war of, of independence. They're a brand new country, fresh from a war. They need to pattern certain things. Yeah, it made sense then. 300 odd years later, when not when guns have evolved into semi-automatic, automatic rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, this, that and the other, it doesn't make sense. We are living in a modern world now. It doesn't make sense to have the right to bear arms. That is the most stupid law I've ever come across and that's the thing is about America is that that by 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 nature they're so conservative Americans so the fact that there was a law 300 years ago that means it's history to them it's certain it's heritage we can't oh no we can't we can't amend that no we can't revise that we can't change that law it's certain so that's the first big barrier this stupid dated law of right to bear arms ridiculous so dated it's low IQ sorry it is Secondly, yeah, is the National Rifle Association, NRA, right? The NRA has its fingers in far too many political pies. It, it's too powerful. The NRA is far too powerful. The National Rifle Association, it funds campaigns of politicians. It sponsors politicians. If you, if you know how the real world works, politicians, they go on campaigns, they want to get in office, right? To get funding for their campaigns, they might go to private investors or they might go to corporations, the same way McDonald's funds, is it the same way all these fast food restaurants fund Diabetes Association, Breast Cancer Association, how, how they're funding that, how there's a correlation between those two doesn't make any sense, but if you know, you know, if you don't, you know, I know these things because I've done my research. So the National Rifle Association, it has its finger, it has, uh, it pulls too many strings of politicians. So therefore, if you've got politicians that are put in place, helped funded by the NRA, they're, they're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna appease them. They're gonna wanna bend over backwards for them. If there's a hundred shootings down the road, rather than think, hmm, we should ban the guns, they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, maybe we should um, tweak this law and tweak that law and tweak every law around it rather than the actual issue itself. Because the National Rifle Associate Association is too powerful, for one and they're too stuck in their old ways of these second and weird amendments. It's so dumb, it doesn't make any sense. We're, in, we're not in 1700s no more. We're in 2021, get with a fucking program, seriously. How many lives, how many people have to die? How many lives have to get taken? How many kids who get bullied or whatever have to spray down entire classrooms before you think having guns is a problem? Do you know what the invention of guns was for? The sole purpose of having a gun is not for protection. The sole purpose of having a gun is to kill. Facts. Simple as that. That, that's, that. that is a fact. That's what guns were built for and designed for. War. Yeah? Uh, last I checked, you're, there ain't a war happening in some Colorado shopping centre. Last I checked, there weren't a war going on in Sandy Hook primary school or whatever it was, secondary school, with kids 13, 12, 10, 16, there's not a war going on there, is there? So why are guns entering these places and taking the lives of kids and more? And obviously I'm not just saying kids, it's a lot of people. Do you understand? America has a very, very, very serious gun problem. And I don't understand how you don't see the correlation. Between, like, I don't understand, if there's a problem, find a solution. You've, you've got about a million and one problems and you refuse to find a solution. It's crazy. Now, check this. Because your boy, your boy don't just chat out his ass, he does research. Check this study I found where they basically found a list of all the shootings, or they did a research, or they did a kind of, yeah, research or whatever, a research, research piece of all the shootings that happened between 1982 and 2021. Yeah, okay, cool. So the most recent shooting, 10 fatalities, the Boulder supermarket shooting in Colorado, and it goes all the way down to 1982. But what they've done here yeah, in this sheet, I can't, what I'll do is I'll leave it in the description below and I can't show you on screen because it just doesn't really work like that. So I'll leave it in the description below. Make sure you check this, um, this spreadsheet out, yeah? They've done the research for you. They kind of categorize it into total victims, location, age, prior signs of mental health, mental health details. In the race section, they've got things like other. I don't know what other means. But the point I want to make in this section of the video, yeah, 
is the demographic of the shooters. Now, the majority of the shooters are white. Now, the reason that that's key is this isn't to cuss white people because, yeah, whatever, you sensitive souls. This isn't about white people being devils. All right, cool. Yeah, this, so this ain't, this ain't about white people being devils and things like that. The reason why it's interesting here is that, that the majority is what, of what, the majority of them are white is it shows that it's internal, homegrown terrorists. Now, I know how Western world and UK and America, we love to call brown people terrorists and we love to paint this person as an animal and this person as a criminal. The fact that the majority of the shooters since 82 have been white suggests that the issue is domestic, okay? It's a domestic problem. Terrorism is a domestic problem and shootings is a domestic problem. Simple as that. You can see it says white, black, black, white, 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 blank, black, black, white, white, Latino, white, white, black, Latino, Latino, white, 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 Asian, white, 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 black, white, black, white, Asian, white, white, black, Latino, black, black, other, black, white, other, white, white, other, white, white, Latino, white. You get me? Like there's a lot of white there. Which means, yeah, once again, the issue is domestic. So the shootings aren't happening from foreign people coming in and this, this is an issue. So therefore, look, look at the issue internally. What is radicalizing these people? Uh, what is radical? What, what is it that is radicalizing these people? What is it that is making, turning these people into terrorists that they wanna go and shoot up schools and, and, and shopping centers and that? Now, before I go, I'm gonna leave you with this. I found a, a study from YouNow, I think it's called. Is it YouNow? YouGov, sorry, YouGov, YouGov. And what they did, yeah, is that they, um, they asked Americans what they thought of the NRA. Look at your screens right now. Nearly half of Americans believe the NRA has too much influence in US politics, right? But look at the breakdown. Look at the breakdown in the screen. This is the most interesting part. Look at the demographic of who wants to keep the NRA and who doesn't. So Democrats, 73% believe the NRA has too much influence. Independents, 46%, but look at this. Republicans, 14% believe the NRA has too much influence. How interesting is that? Republicans are your conservatives. Like, your conservatives over here. Like, your conservatives over here, your, your Nigel Farage's and all them, man. They, 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 that's these type of people, yeah? Now, let's have a look again. Let's have a look at who believes the NRA has too little influence. US adults, 9%, Demo Demo Democrats, 2%, Independents, 10%, Republican, 20%. Let's look at who thinks the NRA has the right amount of influence. Again, Republicans, nearly 50% compared to everyone else. And I'm sorry, yeah, I hate to paint people the same brush, but I'm sorry, people who are traditionally conservative to that level, for me, a lot of them are so just, there's just so many, is, when people can't change and can't be open to see what's wrong and things like that, I've, I've got a problem with that. And, it's, and in my experience, most conservatives are racist, <laughs> to be honest as well. Because the more modern we get, the more different cultures come in and people don't like that. But conservatives don't like change. So when something, when something is stepping on what they know and love, which is the history part and this, this and this, they hate change. Check this. Previous YouGov polling from September 2019 found that 43% of Americans thought it was accurate to characterize the NRA as a domestic terrorist organization. About two thirds of Republicans believed that that was a completely inaccurate characterization. What did I just say? I, I, I've only just found that quote, by the way. I only just found that quote. What did I say? What did I say two seconds ago? They are domestic, uh, those shooters are domestic terrorists. There's a correlation. Why do you think the NRA don't wanna fix like fix them or whatever? Because no, I'm not saying because I'm not saying the NRA fund these people. It's not that thing. But they, they they share the same values. You understand? They got like it's just, it's crazy. These shooters are domestic terrorists. The National Rifle Association is an association for guns that has influence in politics that won't ch change its gun laws. Like it's it's madness. Do you know what the NRA said to that statement? They said that that's absolutely ridiculous. You're challenging our second amendment. What did I say? What did I say about the mentality, deep the psychology? Conservatives and the right to bear arms and the amendment and how they don't like change and how they're fucking terrorists. And it all ties into one. And the thing is, when you're someone like me, who's far too perceptive for my own good, I just use simple logic and simple emotional intelligence. 
it's very simple to see what is wrong with that country and what's wrong with the gun system out there and what is wrong with things. The fact that nothing's changed says all you need to know. It is clear as day there is an issue. The fact that nothing's changed, what does that tell you? That the wrong people have too much power and too much money and too much influence because that's the reason why nothing's changing because if the right people had the right influence and the right power, we, the laws would have changed by now. So, listen, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know your thoughts in it. I thought that was a pretty damn good video on my behalf, actually, and I'm still filming it. I ain't even edited yet. I feel like I delivered that well. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, man, see you soon. I meant peace. <laughs>